Well, I got some QSL cards in the mail today, so let's look at how to get those added into Hamrio Deluxe Logbook. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Hamrio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so I got some QSL cards in the mail today, as I said, and um, I'm going to get them entered into Logbook. And it's a little bit of a different process from Logbook of the World and so on, so I'm going to explain a little bit about how this works. First thing I want to do is make sure that I got my log backed up, so I'm going to click up the backup button and just get the log backed up in case I make any mistakes along the way. And then um, I might go over and check out my... Uh, my favorite DXCC award. So I'm going to hit refresh and there's some things I notice here by looking at this. And one is, is that for, uh, so I've worked, uh, 2,610 challenge countries. I've confirmed 2,555 or 2,555. I need 55 more confirmations. So, um, that is what I'm probably hoping that I'm going to whittle that number down a little bit. And so that's what we'll look at as we go along here. Um, so you might just refresh the the screen there, or refresh the word, just hit the refresh button there. So you can kind of track it as you go along. So I'm gonna come back in here to logbook. Meanwhile, I'm uh, down here, I've got uh, HRD alert running. So you'll see, uh, potentially see some decodes coming in from time to time. So let's look at uh, let's look at one that I got. My wife brought this in from the mailbox the other day. This was cool. Oh, first of all, uh, there's two buttons you want to click when you do this. You want to click on filter and QSL. So once you have both of those displayed, you're ready to get these cards checked in. The wife brought this one in the other day, um, and it's interesting. I want to just hold it up and see if everybody can kind of see it. Um, this is from N4SFC. This is Steve Thibodeau in Cocoa, Florida. Thanks for that, Steve. So if you guys know Steve, uh, tell him that um, Mike on Hamrea Deluxe gave him a shout out. But the curious thing about this is, is that um, the QSO on this card happened um, tw 23 and a half years ago. <laughs> so uh, thanks for that, Steve. Appreciate that. I think I probably sent him a card back then, but uh, anyway, so basically I've got this card, it's N4NFC, so I'm gonna look for that call. So I'm gonna click the box here, and I'm gonna put in his call N4SFC, I might have said NFC, N4SFC, and then I'm gonna search for it, and there it is, so I'm gonna click on it, and now that I've got it shown and I'm gonna click on it, I can go up here and say I've received it. So on the right hand side is the receive section. We're not going to use the sent section over here. We received it and it was direct and I received it. We're just going to take today, even though I think it was yesterday. Doesn't matter. If you want to change it to yesterday, you can just put 30 in there and that's all good. So I'm going to click on OK. And over here, you'll notice where it says QSL received, it changed to yes. So in your layouts, you can select whatever fields you want to have displayed. And I happen to like to have uh, the logbook of the world sent, received, uh, the QSL received and sent values. So as I go through this, I can actually see um, what what's going on there. You can see it's also under logbook of the world. I received that probably quite some time ago. If I open this up and go over to the QSL tab, I'm going to see here's the information that I just entered in, um, you know, without having to open up the um, the QSO. So that's card number one. This next card is very nice. Oh, I've been I've been waiting on this one. This is ZB2FK, and uh, I'm going to come over here and just I'll type over this and put ZB2FK, and then I'll search for it. I've worked him several times, and you can see that um, I received two cells for, for everything except for this one here. 
and that's the 10 meter QSO that I'm interested in right here. So that's 10 meters and I'm going to click apply. I got that directly, so I have direct, so I'm gonna click apply. Got that in here. Now I come over here to award tracking and I'm, I've got the view here. I'm gonna click on refresh and I'm looking at this 55 here that went to 54. So this is a new one that I'll have to put on my application for the card checkers uh, when I go and get that done next. So that's one, one for the good guys. Let's see here. Here's the next one. This is LU8 DPM. This is a 160 meter card. I'm going to uh, type that in here. LU8 DPM. And I'm going to search for that one. Here I can see that QSO. And um, notice there's no logbook of the world received on that one either. And the QSL received is no. So this is most likely going to drop that 54 to 53, which is what I'm hoping for. I got this one direct as well. I'm going to click apply. We see that goes to yes. If I come over here and refresh it again, down to 53. So another one for the good guys. So that'll go in the pile to the card checkers. I think I have one more card here. This is a cool card. Uh, this is A25R. So I'll try to get up here. You can see uh, a group of the locals there and then the team on the back. I love these cards because they're like, uh, they're a little bit like going on vacation because you get, you get um, you know, full blown picture here. So on this, I'm going to hold it up. Hopefully you can see it, but um, there are eight QSOs on this card. Um, probably a de-expedition, but um, I'm pretty sure it is as a matter of fact. A25R and I'm going to search for that one and you can see some stuff here so it's showing me nine QSOs so if I look over here it's going to show me nine QSOs there are eight here um, which is why probably this one is a duplicate um, on 10 which is why or either that or I thought I worked them and I didn't actually work them at all so um but you can also see that all these other ones are verified in Logbook of the World, so I'm really only just kind of uh, showing that I, ex I actually received the car card. I'm going to do a Windows trick here. I'm going to hold down the Control key and press A. That's going to select all of those. I'm going to hold down the Control key and click that one. So now I've only got the ones that are selected here, and I'm just going to look at the card and verify that that's... Um, these are the, you know... 40 meters, 17, 12, um, 17 FT8, the other one was CW, that's good, 80 meters, 17 on CW, 30 meters uh, FT8, and 10 meters FT8, cool. So these are all done, this happened to be done through a manager, so I'm going to change that and click apply, and you can see the yes showed up in all these columns. So if I come back over here, I'm gonna click refresh. I'm still at the 53. So that one doesn't need to go in the stack for the card checkers and I'm good. So I got two new QSLs for countries that I needed to confirm to reset this back to where it goes. I'm gonna click the reset button, which removes this uh, call from over here. Click apply and I'm gonna uncheck the filter uncheck the QSL and I'm going to back up my log again and I'm good to go. So that's that's how you do it. Pretty easy and straightforward and um, you know it's a way to keep the I do like the cards. The cards are cool because um, you get to see things. It's like like I said it's like going on a trip. Um, meanwhile we also have uh, it's Labor Day in the United States right now. We also have a Labor Day offer going on right now. Um, I'll post it in the comments or um, maybe on the screen. So if you uh, are interested in, I think a 30% discount Labor Day, we could use your help. So uh, please jump in and do that. Aside from that, I'm Mike, WA9PIE73.